Hi, this is Billy Tvankin with AdultCello.com. I want to talk to you today about the bow grip. Um, I was explaining to someone how difficult it is as an adult beginner to learn how to hold the bow and use the fingers effectively. And I, the analogy I used was if you imagine someone telling you to, you know, sprint 100 yards. And, you know, that's one thing. And then they tell you to do the same thing, but you have to hold two raw eggs and you can't let them crack or break. So you're, you're working as hard as you can and you know, you're flexing your muscles, but you have to keep, while your arms are pumping, you have to keep this incredibly soft, supple control of the egg and you can't get too loose, otherwise the egg's gonna fly out of your hand. That's kind of like what it is with the cello. When I started learning, like most people, I had a kind of a cement-like grip that I would apply to the bow and then start playing and fatigue was, you know, almost instant because of, you know, the thumb muscle gets overworked. So, and then I had teachers who would tell me, okay, relax your thumb. I was like, great. So now I relax my thumb and the bow falls out of my hand, you know? So what, what really has to happen is you have to develop the finger muscles in a way that you've never probably used before in your life. You know, in life we kind of grip things or we'll grip luggage, but this is using your joints and your fingers in a whole new way. One thing I think really helps is to try that with just a pencil. And I would just take the fingers, put them on the pencil, put the thumb kind of like you would with a cello bow, and then just get used to trying to move the pencil around in, in various ways without having your fingers slip. So if you, if you, I mean, this is also moving the pencil around and the pencil hasn't fallen, but this isn't gonna help as much for cello. For cello, it's keeping the fingers in place like that. And then later on in another video I can show you, but you can apply that kind of same idea to bow specific exercises that help develop the fingers and allow you to learn how to have a very firm grip that's also very uh, soft and flexible. Thanks so much.